Hello, in this video, we're going to evaluate this limit. So the first thing you should always try when evaluating limits is to take the number that you see here and plug it in and see what happens. So if we do that, we get one squared minus one, which is just zero. And on the bottom, we get one squared, which is one, minus four times one, which is four, plus three. This ends up being zero over, and then let's see, one minus four is negative three, Negative three plus three is zero. So you get zero over zero, so it doesn't work, fail. So now we have to think about another approach. So there's a couple ways of doing this. Let's go through it carefully, solution. The most basic way to do this is to basically try to factor. So let's try to do that. Got the limit as x approaches one. In the numerator, we have x squared minus one. That's the difference of squares. We can write that as x, minus one times x plus one. All of this is being divided by, here we have x squared minus four x plus three. This also factors, we can write this as x, let's see, minus three and x minus one. Let's check that. Minus three times minus one is positive three. And if you add minus three and minus one, you get minus four. And then x times x is x squared. So all looks good. And this is really nice because now you see you get some cancellation. You can cancel the x minus ones. This is equal to the limit as x approaches one of x plus one over x minus three. And now we've reached a point where we can plug in the one and there's not gonna be anything funky like division by zero. When you plug in the number, you drop the limit sign. So this is equal to one plus one over and then one minus three. One plus one is two, and then one minus three is minus two. These cancel, and so you get minus one. And that would be the limit in this particular problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.